Today we are harnessing the power of a blue-green algae known as spirulina. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel where we are passionate about good health. Today we're going to be making easy spirulina coconut bites. Let's begin by adding one cup of pitted dates to your food processor. Pitted dates are excellent as an energy source and they are also rich in fiber. This is about 15 large dates because when I measured them, I pressed them down into the measuring cup. Next we have one half of a cup of macadamia nuts, which are great for your digestion, they help fight inflammation, and they also support good sustained energy. Three quarter of a cup of fiber rich toasted coconut flakes. Now we're ready for the star of this recipe. I have two teaspoons of powdered spirulina, which may help reduce mercury toxicity in the body. It helps support a healthy immune system, and it may also help with bronchial asthma, among other things. So spirulina is a wonderful blue-green algae to add to a healthy diet. Last, I have two tablespoons of coconut oil. Pulse up all of your ingredients together until you reach your desired consistency. The mixture should stick together easily. Roll your mixture into balls and then either coat them with some shredded coconut, some additional chopped up macadamia nuts, or even Ceylon cinnamon would be great. Our spirulina coconut bites are ready to taste. A couple of ideas for additional add-ins might be some hemp seeds, chia seeds, a couple scoops of our clean source collagens powder, some cacao nibs would give it a nice little crunch, and even some matcha powder if you wanted to have a little bit of caffeine added to these bites. So let's give it a taste. These bites are definitely sweet because we added a lot of dates. So if you don't like such sweetness in these bites, you certainly could add in some more nuts to kind of even um, the ratio here. I love it though, it's nice and sweet. I love the flavor that the coconut brings out. And the spirulina is not overwhelming. So if you even wanted to add in a little bit more spirulina, you could, but these are great. I think anyone would be able to eat these just as is. I hope you give these a try. Thanks so much for joining me today in the kitchen. Hey, reach out if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next week. Take care, bye-bye.